Hello everyone, Jet here, and welcome back to my Tomb Kings playthrough where we are we are finishing off Lustria and then we are gonna prepare for our invasion of uh of um Ar Ar Arabia over here uh, to push towards the Black Temple because I want to I want to get control of the Black Temple because that, that is my final victory in this campaign. Okay, anyway, we are still fighting off the lizard men. We are battering them. I don't think they're going to last much longer at this point, but uh, I don't want to be taking too many risks. We're also building up our armies a bit again. Slowly, anyway. And we're at an end turn right now, so let's get that going. Hmm. So let's see what the lizard men are going to do there. Retreating away. I'm not that fussed by those armies. They're not powerful. I can I can trap them easily enough. Um, assuming the Skaven don't do them. If they take the Pox Marsh, that's actually potentially good for me, actually. So, um, unfortunately, the Skaven here are all now under. All the Skaven are under one banner now, which is something I do want to be aware of. But we'll see how that goes. Right, let's get that one. I, I'm basically finishing off my tech tree now. Um, you can move down this way. Right. Itza is a very nice one for me to get. Um, so just carefully move towards Itza. Nope, they don't have much there. So straight onto Itza. Let's start building up siege equipment here. You can double time up behind. I don't think it's going to be enough to make it an easy victory. Oh, no it is. There's another really nice, really big settlement for us there. Um, even more income from that settlement. Let's start pushing out them as well. And let's throw out a public order building just to keep every, everyone happy. Then we'll push on to here next. And, well... I mean, there's some lizard men over here. I think that's their last two settlements, so we are absolutely battering them just now, which is good. Right, Tlax needs uh, building up. You can uh, go and uh, have your first battle. Wow. Or not. You can move up behind, and now we can trap you. Destroy them! I forbid this. My will be mm. done. To find me. Got a feeling they're going to get attacked. Oh well. <laughs> I guess we'll find out just how good my um. Which one's this? You down here. Hmm. Oh, we're just buffing up your damage, aren't we? You're already done to the maximum. Let's start increasing our mobility with you. We're getting most of the spells for you. Let's grab evasion now. Okay, and we're at another end turn. I suspect we're going to get jumped in the north of Lustria, but I, I, we'll see how that goes. Or not. Okay. I'm a little surprised by that. They are going to get completely surrounded and destroyed. Um, they're already under attack here, which is good, and we'll move on to their other settlements, at which point, well, Lustre Rov and all these random ruins around me will be mine. Oh, what's that up there? Who are you guys? Right, can we make friends Brunch with you? Make your offer, but I make no promises to my ascent. 
The nation calls. Okay. Right, we can potentially get this one moving over next turn. First things first, let's deal with this. Your king demands. Tomb King. Now we go. Legions move. What? Attack and destroy. Getting my new army some experience there. Okay, you can start heading this way, you guys can start both start heading down the coast, because we know this is a Skaven settlement. Let's start working on our walls here. Let's get some more of you guys out and the ability to get some more Ushbati. 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 Ushabti. Sorry, Ushabti. I always I'm gonna get that one wrong forever, guys, I'm sorry. Right, you can start bouncing around there, you can follow. Hmm. You can get leveled up and start, oh, you don't have any walls. That is dangerous. Hmm. The High Elves are battering my former vassal who betrayed me into non-existence over there. Um, Kemri... Uh, well, we'll have to work out what's going on, on over there when we invade, though our first people we're going to go to war with will be Nagash, because he's the closest people on the coast. We'll do a mass invasion there, guys. It will be a, a humongous invasion. Just battering down that coastline. Right, you can start double timing, because that's a very... Even though it's a small army, it is nice and powerful. Occupy here. You guys can start, uh... Look, I keep forgetting this place up here. You can start heading this way. I suspect these are held by Skaven, but we need to find out. Oh, and I don't think some of this is held by Skaven, actually. Um, let's go to the big view, and let's look at the corruption. So down here definitely is. Up here some places might not be. I don't think these places are held, but we'll find out shortly. The real question is, do I really want to go to war with a Skaven? Um, unless I absolutely have to. Can I can I make them my friends? I do not care about dead things. Talk speak if you can. I mean they don't like me, that that's understandable. Mm. Ulf one's defender. I fear your lich priests of Tyria. The dead come calling. What do you say? These guys really like me at the moment, which is good. Okay. Of greatest dynasty. Legions move. Let's level you up. Get you building up. Get you up. And you are, we have so much growth now. It is a uh, good having this much growth. You can also start heading this way. Oh, and we're going to check here on the way. Did I just pull somebody out by mistake? I did. And let's enter. Hmm. Okay, so the lizard men are well, they're they're done now. 
they never quite recovered from my invasion. The real thing is, at some point, yes, I want to take out the Skaven, but right now, I've got other plans, you know. Um, I will leave a, a defensive force here, but I don't necessarily want to be taking Skaven out unless I absolutely have to. Let's batter these guys down. Fire on them. Destroy them. Arise, my legions. Rise. Your entire job was getting troops in so we can get them into other armies. So you're going to start heading down. How are you doing? You are building up nicely. You don't have one building over here. I was building one somewhere with multiple large units in it. Um, where was I building that? Hmm. Maybe I wasn't. Anyway, you guys can get yourselves back on the move. You can double time. Start double timing this way. The Skaven are already on them, uh, with a reasonable army, so that's almost certainly going to fall to the Skaven. Let's get ourselves building up again. Let's guess what's here. Accidental trespass, let's be honest. This is the funny thing about all this trespassing against Skaven. It's not even done on purpose, it's accidental most of the time. Wow, we are nearly done with all of the technologies. Let's get you built up, let's get some walls going I can't quite afford to. Hmm. Go down the stone masonry route and end turn. Well, this is not. Well, this is going quickly. We've not had a huge amount happening here. Um, going to be honest, most of this episode is probably going to be us building up, preparing for the invasion of um, of of a uh, Kemri, of the lands of Kemri and Arkan. Uh, so that we can we can push on to the Great Pyramid. We will build up a bit. We'll get ourselves some defensive forces behind us. But for, for now, the main thing is getting ourselves in the position to, to finish this off. Okay. My will be done. This, I'm fairly sure, is not held by the Skaven. No, we are at max of both of those, so I must have been recruiting them somewhere. Right, I know this is Skaven, but I'm going to go look anyway. I am considered much more powerful than the Skaven. Once I've got them there, I could just launch an invasion on the Skaven. But I could even just launch an invasion on the Skaven right now. There we go. 
Let's start this siege. They might push out and ambush me. This is possibly not the most sensible war I've ever done, but it's all fun. I wonder what's here. Yeah. I alone shall restore the castle. As they weren't trading with me anyway, I'm not losing much by doing this. Uh, you can come this way, you can come this way. These guys are going to clear down here afterwards. I have no interest in. I want to force her into being my vassal once I can. So I can't um, confederate, which is a very interesting thing. Uh, public order for now. Okay, let's end turn. I'm going to need to start building up another army shortly, which will get going um, somewhere. Just just filling it full of troops. As I said, at some point we're going to need to do a big rejig of our armies. But for now, it's it's just battering the Skaven. And against the Skaven, while they'll have some large units, my, anti my big anti-infantry armies are going to be um, devastating. No, they're going to devastate the Skaven. Plus, my guy, my settlements aren't going to be affected too much by their corruption because I hold that uh, settlement in the north, the uh, Temple of Quintex. And the, the, the special building in Quintex, I can't remember exactly what it's called, um, which reduces the uh, public order effect of um, corruption. So that's going to be very beneficial for us. To hit and start sieging. You guys can take the quick route down. There you go, that makes it easier. little dwarfy settlement for us there. We can spread out a little bit now. Right, we are almost there. You can double time it to catch up. And let's start on our last technology, guys. this army ready yet? Yeah. Almost. Oh, this is the one I filled full of things. This army is just going to double time it down afterwards. Once it's completed, I'm going to start building another army down here where we've got lots of buildings and we are building other buildings to get things going. Um, I want the dynasty ones because they're cool. Um... For Tepper the first third dynasty, so he allows us to recruit an extra war sphinx and gets extra extra for war sphinx's army. Um, extra range. Yeah, we're gonna go for Mr. Extra War Sphinx, because I like war sphinxes. That's a really, really, really good reason for getting him, because war sphinxes are cool. Obviously it doesn't instantly get me that extra war sphinx though. Uh, yes, we can recruit some of these guys locally, which is always going to be better. Hmm. I'm not going to need all of them. I'm going to have at least one more Sphinx. We're going to get you 
how we're going to get you some specialist units. Recruiter hero. Let's get you a necrotect. A tomb prince. Ooh, let's have a look. Cavalry master. So that's not bad. And a lich priest. We'll go for Kemri. Sorry, Nikara, because gives us the nice buffs. Nice, and these guys are all reasonably leveled to start with. We'll, we'll be taken back to them in a second to sort out their abilities, guys. So Rakash has leveled up again. Again, we are buffing his damage. He can get Death Strike now. Right, and we're buffing up your damage too. Hmm... Oh, you're, that's very simple for you. We're upping mobility with you. We may as well finish off our spells. Let's have a look. Replenishment is always really good. However, that's what's his army built up of. But everything's got the shaft in at the moment, so that's going to be very good. So much leveling up of units to do. So this is one of my new Tomb Princes, so obviously we're going to go straight down the damage tree. Well, yeah, that one's... I'd be daft not to. Okay. So that's going to be another nice army we're going to push out there. Um, we are going to have our better armies, but, you know, the army, certainly the invasion of Kemri is going to be led by our main armies. Once we've dealt with Clan Moors, I'm not that worried about dealing with Clan Moors. And in fact, we might be able to get away with invading Lustria at the bottom. And I had forgotten I'm being a bit daft here because there are Lizardmen settlements over here. So, once we, so we're going to finish off Lustria and then we're going to slide into to the, the jungles at the bottom of the Southlands and then we'll uh, work our way up through the Southlands into Kemri. Hmm. We can have some fun. Let's start a little naval invasion over there. Right. You can come and look at this, because let's be honest, this is going to be a scaling settlement. You can come back and push there. I do need to look at these. So here is my next big hit. Let's encircle you. Okay, that becomes easy. Uh, we just need to build some siege equipment before we can attack. You can actually start marching down towards here. You are good to go, so you can start double timing it down. It's going to take us quite a while to get down here, but you can start making your way. You can move down to the Twisted Glade, so you're a bit more central, please. Okay. How am I doing on armies? Can I get another army being recruited in my capital? 
I can if I want to, though it's whether or not it's really worth it. I'm going to hold it. In fact, I'm going to get myself a little Sea Lord going next turn, guys. Now I've got enough armies to afford to do that. Um, I'm going to uh, have a, have my Sea Lord wandering around in the sea, picking up... If, if you've not seen my other campaigns, if you've just been watching this, in other campaigns than the Tomb Kings, it's very good to have a random Lord at sea just picking up all of these little things because it gives you extra money and some quite nice campaign buffs. Now, campaign buffs won't necessarily be quite as good for me, but, well, we'll see how they go. Now, obviously, there is another Tomb King there, or Tomb Queen in her case. Um, so we will deal with this when we get there. Uh, let's bury him. I don't really care about either of those. Oh, whoops. I completely forgot I was still sieging here. You can come back up next turn. Oops. Let's just pretend I didn't do that, guys. So some of these aren't held by the Skaven, which is good. Oh, hang on. Is she at war with me? I had not realised she was at war with me. I have no use for kings. Well, Rakash is going to have some fun battering them then. Um. Hmm. That's very good. Let's up our mobility a bit more. And we're going to go burn through their settlements next. That's so quick. See, I should have got an extra War Sphinx from having him. Never mind. Let's get ourselves a couple of scorpions in there too. That'll really help. Um, that's going to be a really nice shaped army. We've got a lot of lords, a lot of heroes in there, but you know, that adds to it. You know, so it doesn't necessarily make it weaker or stronger, but it's always nice to have things like that. Start working on our walls. Again, you're going to get a load of, you're going to get a little bit of an upgrade in the way of, I want two more spots in this army. In fact, no, I'm going to knock over, hmm, no, I'm going to knock over these, in fact. And you're going to get a Tomb Prince and, uh, and a uh, Lich Priest. If we've got them to spare, I am, I'd am i be daft not to put them into my armies if I've got them. Same plan with this guy, straight down all the basic ones, and you are going to go straight damage because there's no point in not having you as damaging. Oh look, it's a scaven settlement. How surprised do I look? I'm more surprised when they're not scaven settlements. The high elves are obviously coming over there. That's Vampire Coast secured. Here it is, he was part of the Vampire Coast. Oh, because we're in the big map. Oh, that's interesting. In the other map, sorry, the little map, you get two settlements here. Start on 
Our defense is up there. Shabti, get the buff. Okay, and then turn again, guys. So things are going nicely here. He's on his way. We've nearly got another army built up down there. I forgot to make my Sea Lord again. But no, so we're in a very solid state at the moment. I, I can still need to do a bit of buffing up on my armies and rebuilding, but that's not going to be a huge issue. We're going to start marching on um, Kalida, who is over there in the side of Lustria next. Um, she is another campaign I would very much like to play. Because uh, um, she's a melee lord as well. I far prefer melee lords. Um, Setra, I would also, I have been playing. Setra's a little easy though. A little powerful too. A little OP. But, uh, you know. This is the interesting thing about her though. While she's small, she can still throw out a lot of armies. Because obviously her armies don't cost her anything. So, uh, that is something I do need to be very aware of. Right, you can go look. No, you can move back here to where we are sieging. Kill these wretches. Your case demands. There you go. And then we're going to do a little bit of Owners tweaking these armies war. next turn. Because what I want to do is I want to make one really good army and then we're going to split up the other. Ooh, took a bit more losses than I was expecting there. This is the thing. I mean, when you're fighting Tomb Kings versus Tomb Kings, guys, you always take a lot of damage because no one retreats. Um, I don't feel I need to up his missile resistance at all. Anything really worth pushing into. Um, lightning strike. Could I get lightning strike? No. I don't have enough points left to get lightning strike. And that would have been very, very useful for me. Um, I don't think I really need to worry about my dash. No, I only need... Ooh. Seven, eight. Let's up my replenishment rate, and we'll see. You can join this army. And you can go and wait in the Twisted Gate. You can get built up a bit. Okay, I need more of these going. Lots more of those going at the moment. Hmm. So many level ups at this point of the game. And we are going to be stopping this one here, guys. So, we're doing nicely. We've pushed the lizard men out of Lustria itself. They are over here now. They're, they're by no means out. Um, obviously this is all probably Skaven territory as well, and all this is Skaven territory. So the Skaven are, while they're weaker than me, they're by no, I don't know about this territory, but here's certainly all Skaven. So, you know, while they are weaker than me, they are by no means to be ignored at this point. So I'm going to squish them, and we're actually going to invade over here, through these islands in the centre. Oh no, that is held by some high elves. Um... You know, and start taking this territory, and then we're going to march our way up through the Southlands into Kemri itself. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do hope that you have enjoyed this.